Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Sandra 8675 and I make lifestyle videos for SL on anything that I find interesting or helpful in some type of way. Today I am going to be making a video on the Cooper body, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I thought it would be interesting if I touched on a couple issues with the Cooper body that actually I found several people running into, but it's very rarely talked about on videos that are promoting the body. And, uh, you know, I just thought I would talk about my experience. That's what these videos are based on. Just remember that this is all strictly my opinion based on my own personal experiences. So I'm going to be talking about that. And as a side note, in case you're interested, I got picked up by the brand called Escalate It to talk about some of their hair, which is what I'm wearing right now. I've always been a fan of Escalate It hair. All of their hair comes in a fat pack, um, which means it comes with natural and unnatural colors. I wanna say that you're getting at least 28 hues of hair in their fat pack. And um, this particular style, it comes with metal rings placed throughout the hair and you could change the color of the metal rings. So that's kind of cool. I really like the braids that Escalate makes. I'm a big fan of that. So I'm really happy to be vlogging for them and we'll be doing more of that in the future. But as far as right now, let's go ahead and get into talking about this Cupra body. So right now, Sandra is wearing the original Cooper body. I messed with the shape a little bit, and this is what I came up with. I didn't spend a huge amount of time on the shape, but this is basically how I would want the body to look. I will say that the Cooper body from the waist down, I'm very happy with. I like the shape of the legs and I like the shape of the butt. And that shape remains the same, meaning the sliders react the same for both the original Cooper body and the Coops Cooper body. The Coops is the Cooper body that has the smaller boobs. So I do like that other body a lot, which I'll get into in a moment. I'm gonna be trying that one on also. I tend to be leaning a little bit more towards the original Cooper body for no other reason other than the fact that there will be more clothing choices available. As far as the issue that I've been having, which I found surprising because no one ever talked about it on videos or anything on YouTube did I remember, is the breast shape. The breast shape is very tricky with the Cooper body. As you could see, she just moved again. I might need to freeze Sandra here. But the breast shape is very flat on the front. If you could tell, it's just very flat. Now with the Cooper converter, you do get three breast shape choices. What Sandra is wearing right now is ironically called the bimbo shape. Okay, that's the shape where you're able to make the breast extremely large. Now, right now, her breasts are not, you know, large. Not like what the bimbo shape is meant for. Let me see how large they actually are. Let's, let's take a look here. Just so that we could talk about the sizing, because this is a big issue with the shape. The sizing and the shape work hand in hand together. All right, so the breast shape right now is at size 36. That again is uh, small for the bimbo size because the bimbo size is meant for people that want a lot larger breast. 
The reason why I decided that I preferred this breast shape over the other ones is because the breasts seem to be fuller. However, the breast shape is still not making me extremely happy. It's not natural. And I don't really want to go larger because uh, I just don't. That's not the look I'm going for. So uh, let me kind of make the breasts smaller so that you could see them and then larger so that you could see what the slider does and how it reacts. And again, this is the bimbo size. So let's go ahead and make the breasts smaller. Let's go super small. Let's go, how about 10, okay? So that's almost zero, but not quite. All right. Now it looks okay from the front. Let's see what it does from the side. Okay, you see that? That's at number 10 with the bimbo size. Now, just keep in mind that all of the breast options on the HUD that come with the Cooper body, they all do this. If you make them too small, they look like they totally deflate, like deflated balloons, okay? Let's go ahead and make them bigger just so that you can see what they look like ultra large. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the breast size up. Let's just bring it up to 70. All right, so that's, that's gonna be substantially large. Okay, and they could still get bigger, so that shows you how big they can get. Okay, so this is the view from the front. All right, and you could tell that they seem, when they get larger like that, they seem to fill out a little more on the front part. I'm calling the front part the part by the nipple. That's the part that usually flattens out like a pancake. But as you can see, it's more filled out now. But of course, they're, they're really large. That's the bimbo shape. I'm going to bring out the converter, you guys, and I'm going to change to a different shape breast option. And, uh, you know, we're going to look at that. Right now, Sandra has on the original breast shape. And again, they look okay from the front. Okay, this is with the breast around 40 on a slider scale. But when you look at the side, there they are being flat again. You see where the nipples at the front. They tend to get very flat. All right, and that's the reason I was leaning more towards the bimbo breast size or the bimbo breast shape. It's because the breasts were filled out a little more. Let's go ahead and make them smaller so that you can see what happens. It's going to be a deflated type issue like we saw before. See, they always look okay from the front, but when you turn to the side, you see what happens? Basically, the reason I'm showing this is because the option to have the breast smaller is not really there because the, the form is totally deformed on the breast. All right, let's make them around 70 just so that we could see. As far as what I could see, the front of the breast is still flat, but you just notice it slightly less because they're so much larger when they're about 70 on the slider scale. So here, we got one more breast size I'm gonna show you here on the original. Okay, this is the next breast, breast size I want to show you. It's just called low. That's the one in the middle. You could tell that the the breasts are slightly lower than the original ones, so that's what they're going by. But look how flat they look on the front. They look like almost like little boxes. Yeah, and you could control the shape to a point with the sliders on the appearance menu, but this is basically what you got. Now, let me show you what happens when they get larger. That shape is going to basically stay. It's The shape is going to stay. They're just going to look slightly larger. All right, here they are around 70. 
okay? You see how they look very boxy? And let me just, just for the sake of argument, let me show you what happens when they get smaller. Okay, I'll put them around 10, close enough. Then you see how they look deflated. So again, I'm just showing that when you make them too small, the option to make them smaller is really not there because then you get this very deflated type look. Um, I don't know, they might have looked appealing if they would have held their shape a little better, but the, the shape is just obviously totally gone. This brings up the issue that you need to be looking for a breast deformer. It's an extra cost, but it could be something that gives you a little bit more control over the size of the breast. Okay, so I did a quick change here, and I did change over to the Cupra Coops, or uh, sorry, the Cupra Cups. That is the Cupra body that has the smaller breast size on the top. And to be honest, I am very fond of this body. They do make less clothing for it because, you know, I don't know why, they just do. They uh, also make less clothing for the Maitreya smaller breasted body and it's the same with the Legacy one. So even though I like it, there is less clothing available for this particular model and so, you know, that's something to consider. But the part of the body that's the waist down is exactly the same as the original, so it's going to fit in the same pants, same shoes, and the sliders react the same from the waist down. What you have that's different is the breast size on the top. So let's take a look here. We, I have the converter up and these are the three shapes that you have available to you. You have cup A, cup B, and flat. Okay, so right now she has cup A. And just to give you an idea what's going on here, I'm going to make the breast size all the way up to 100. Okay, because I, I want you to see that it's made to stay small. Okay, so this is the breast all the way to 100. Let's take a look at the breast from the side. Okay, so that is the shape of this breast. That's, you know, you can mess with the body shape a little bit, but for the most part, that is the shape you're going to have. Okay, and let's go ahead and go to cut B. Again, this is still at 100, so you could tell this is filled out slightly more. But that's, in general, this is the shape you're going to have, regardless of how big or small you make it. And you can mess with the body shape a little bit, but it's not going to alter the breast drastically. This is pretty much the base shape you're going to have. And. Let me show you the flat, even though we all know what flat is, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, so, <laughs> and again, I think this body is darling, by the way, um, the flat chested one. Now, this is flat chested at 100, so obviously these breasts are not meant to get any larger. This is just the size, and, you know, that's what it is. So what I'm going to be focusing on for the purposes of this video is I'm going to be focusing on more cup A and cup B. I'm going to go ahead and put it on cup B. So this is the thing with um, the Cupra cups body, which we're looking at now, and the original Cupra body, it feels to me like something needs to be done with the breasts in order to make them more natural shaped. Okay, it has, what I'm saying has nothing to do with the size. It has to do with the shape. The shape needs to be improved upon to make it look more natural, in my opinion. With this Cooper Cups addition, the breasts seem to be almost like um, like a triangle or something that comes to a very a kind of a point at the end 
it's a look and if you like it that's totally cool i'm not you know putting anybody down for what they like and i have seen pictures of this body in pictures i i think it's uh i think this body is darling when it's all dressed and everything but in my own personal opinion i would want breasts that are a little bit more filled out and uh that, that's the thing with this Cooper Cups edition. I would just want the breast to be more filled out. In the original Cooper body, I would prefer for the breast to be a little bit more rounded so that maybe they don't have that flat front to take away the boxiness, the boxy type feeling. This is what happened and this is what I wanted to talk about in this video is I did speak to several women that have the Koopa body that were very open, very helpful, very forthcoming with what they did about the breast and the breast shape. I spoke to women that had the Koopa body on sl.com forums. I spoke to some that were part of lithium group sites on Facebook. I spoke to several women that were part of the chat in the lithium group in world in SL and they were extremely helpful. I want to say again that they were just they they didn't talk to me like I was wrong or crazy or that they didn't notice that the breast was in fact boxy on the original shape. Because again, most people lean towards the original Cupra body because you have more clothing choices available to you. And you know, that's what I would want if I purchase a body. I want more clothing choices available to me. So that's what we were leaning towards talking about. That's what most people have. And one thing I did want to say, and I've noticed this with a couple brands in chat rooms specifically, is chat rooms tend to have CSRs that are in the chat from time to time throughout the day to help customers with questions, concerns, problems, what have you. The CSR is a customer service rep. They work for the brand and they're there just to kind of help troubleshoot, advise, you know, whatever. Their print is always in bold in the chat room. Anyway, there happened to be a CSR that came in to the chat on the Lithium group site when I was midway through talking to some women in the chat about the breast deformers that are available for the Cooper body. Um, because I am interested in the Cooper body, but I would not purchase it without fixing the breast shape issue. Like I, I would be purchasing a breast deformer. I wouldn't get the body in other words without getting the breast deformer. I just would not do it personally. So we were talking about that and having a discussion and the CSR was very much of the opinion that the breasts are a natural shape for the Cupra cups and the Cupra original and it really no breast deformer was needed. Uh, she was insinuating what the Cupra company has provided for choices on the sliders and the HUDs is totally adequate and that nothing else is needed. Uh, something I do want to say is that I feel like CSRs when they're in the chat rooms to, I think it's really important to hear customers out, especially when they're saying something legit. It's not even a complaint that they're just talking about an issue that they're trying to work through. And I think it's important that the CSR informs the creators or whatever, because they're the ones that have direct contact with the creators a lot of times, whereas we do not. And you know, that's pretty much my only point here with the CSRs that work for the brands and talking to the customers in world in chat is that sometimes I feel like there's not a lot of um, listening taking place to create this bridge of communication between the customer, the CSR, and the possible creators that could in fact make improvements to the item that's being placed on the market for us to buy. So 
that's my issue with that. I will get off my little soapbox now about that. And I am going to be leaving a list of breast deformers that got highly recommended to me by women that I spoke to the other day that did improve their breast shape to look more natural. And I'll be putting those in the description box. And please, if you have any other breast deformers that work for helping the breast shape itself change, be more natural or whatever, please go ahead and list them in the comment section below. And hopefully it'll be of help to some other people. I was able to locate about three at three different brands companies that I found that I think that's great but if there's more out there please go ahead and list them because I think it's important for people to have a choice about what type of breast deformer they might be interested in and have a variety of different prices to go by because some of them are more like a hundred lindens they go all the way up to sometimes 2,000 lindens so you know it there's a wide variety of choices out there but if you have one that works and you like it, go ahead and put the link for it or put where to find it or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm not opposed to that. I think it would be great if the list was longer where to locate the stuff. And uh, you guys, that's pretty much how I'm going to wrap up this video. I do like the body. I'm going to be working on the breast deformers. I decided not to do that on film because I'm getting into an area that I'm really not familiar with. I have never used any type of body deformer before, so I didn't want to bore you to death by having me watch me <laughs> work through that process. So, you know, I'm not going to do that, but what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and put updates in the description box below this video on what worked and what didn't in my own personal opinion. If I do end up with the lithium body and a specific breast deformer that I felt like I liked, I will go ahead and make an update video on that because you know why not? Why not why not put out there what works and what makes you know the improvement that I was looking for. Somebody might find that helpful. If you have any favorite places to shop at for lithium clothing, go ahead and list that below too. You know, why not? I, I've been looking at a lot of uh, Cooper body clothing and stuff lately also. So if you got any great places for shoes, especially, I've been really into Cooper shoes lately. List whatever you need in the Cupra for Cupra in the comment section below. I think other people would find that helpful also. And you guys, keep your eyes open for the next video coming out. I really appreciate you joining me. And you guys, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.